Hey, 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 yo. Hey, yo. Are you in like in that 90s mood right now? Well, you better be because today, Marvel finally dropped their trailer to X-Men 97, which is supposed to be a sequel to the original X-Men animated series that was made popular and aired during the 90s. For many people, this was the best X-Men product that they've ever given. For those who are familiar with the comic books, really loved the series because of how true they were to sticking to a lot of the storylines and the characters. For non-comic book readers and maybe more casual fans, this was like a great jump off to learning more about the X-Men and understanding a lot of the the intricacies between the characters, the relationships, and all the different storylines that took place that many comic book readers have known to love for years and years. For me personally, as someone who enjoyed watching these cartoons back in the 90s, I would definitely hold this up there in the top tier echelon as one of the best animated series to air ever on TV. You know, you have this, you have Batman the Animated Series, Ghostbusters, things like that. So it was really interesting to hear that they wanted to kind of do a sequel to this, another animated series that picks things off directly where the series left off. But I think also in the Marvel Disney way, this was kind of like a soft way to introduce or reintroduce the X-Men to audiences now that it's under the Disney umbrella. I'm just so happy to see how this animation looks. How are the voices going to fit in? How is it all going to play out? Does it really give me that nostalgic feels from the 90s? Well, let's go and check it out. Ooh, I like the little the TV setup. Next Saturday morning. Check your local listings. I'm grateful to have the chance <laughs> to say goodbye. I remember how the series ended this way. It was just so bizarre. All right, fast forward it to now. Marvel Animation. We have to stay vigilant. <laughs> the professor entrusted us with his dream. Yeah, they got the they got the color scheme down and the look so far. We must believe in each other. Is that Sentry? That's your century. We get this done by working together as a team. Jeez, Bob, keep buzzing in my ear. <laughs> wow. It looks much cleaner for sure. Oh, Jean's pregnant. Oh, that's dope. Oh, snap. To me, my X-Men. My X-Men. See, that's the kick-ass Cyclops we need. Let's go. March 20, huh? Magneto. The last will and testament of Charles Xavier. Everything he built now belongs to Oh! Me. Nice. I like that little turn off of the TV there. Very, very cool. Hey, look, growing up, like I said before, growing up with the animated show, this definitely looks like an homage to the show. It doesn't look exactly like it, but they maintained a lot of the same color schemes. They tried to maintain a lot of the same animation style. It's interesting where we are picking up because Xavier died and now they're trying to pick things up where all that left off. The big reveal there, Magneto is now the owner of everything according to whatever will and testament that was. I am semi-familiar with some of the storylines from the comic books. Uh, uh, there are many of you out there who are probably more familiar with everything than I am. So definitely chime in in the comments as to where you think this is going, what storylines are going to be followed here. Right now, I'm just going to talk about the look and the tone and the feel. Definitely has that 90s kind of feel, especially with the characters, the way they're laid out. If you're familiar with the X-Men from the 90s, those were the same looks that everyone had. At the end of the day, this looks like this would be an interesting thing to kind of put out now. Nostalgia is big, 
obviously. And people are clamoring for X-Men related content coming from Marvel and Disney. And this is the best way to kind of soft launch that in a way. Even though there have already been hints here and there about mutants now existing in the MCU. We already know Deadpool is going to be coming and showing up with Wolverine in the next movie. But as far as X-Men proper is concerned, I think this is a great soft entry for that. And I think it's also great that it's going to be animated. That way you could appeal to a lot of different audiences. And to the older generation with a young kid heart like I have and who has great nostalgia for this animated show, to see something like this is kind of fun and exciting, to be honest with you. We'll know more on March 20th when all this comes out and how it all plays out. I don't know if they're releasing all the episodes in one shot. Hopefully they do so I could like watch it and binge it and I can kind of like give my thoughts and takes on it sooner rather than later. But the timing of this is actually perfect too because it's in alignment with the Deadpool and Wolverine release. So it makes a lot of sense for this to be coming out during that time. And March is shaping up to be a really fun and exciting month and i keep saying the way they're portraying cyclops scott summers there that is the cyclops we need hopefully we could get something like that in live action but i'll leave it up to all of you what do you all think about this trailer are you as excited as i am are you looking forward to the x-men animated series to come back in this homage tribute to the original animated series let me know all your thoughts and comments below thank you so much for watching and tuning in if you want to see more reactions like this reviews we do a live stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you're interested in all of that, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything. If you enjoyed this, hit that like. If you didn't, hit that dislike. I'll be heading out for now. Until next time, stay cool, stay classy, stay safe. I will catch you on the next one. Peace out, y'all. Bye-bye.